Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, August 2nd, and I'm here with you before the sun is rising, Kate. And I do have with me my cat, Hermione, who's finishing up a plate of food. And I have with me the things that help me pray. St. Francis, who's blessing birds. Jesus. Jesus and Mary and the baby. Since today is Sunday, I'll be talking with you about the readings that we'll be reading in church this morning, and I hope you'll join us at 10 o'clock for our virtual worship service. We're going to be telling the story of Jacob in the book of Genesis. Jacob was a person who wronged his brother. They wrestled from the time in the womb and as children, and they wrestled for the blessing of the father, and Jacob stole his brother's blessing. And then he runs away. And Jacob struggles for many, many years. In fact, towards the end, when he's about to finally face his brother, he wrestles with an angel all night. We struggle a lot when the relationships in our lives are not reconciled. It causes us an enormous amount of pain and suffering. Jacob finally is forgiven by his brother, but only after he struggled and wrestled with an angel. This is a great time to look at your relationships and to try to come to peace with them. That can be difficult because forgiveness is easier when the other party forgives you too, or when you can say something to them. But sometimes um, there is someone who doesn't want to forgive you. So how do you let that go? How do you let a broken relationship go? Jacob struggled with an angel that wounded him and changed him. The struggles that we're going through will wound us and change us as well. In this time of pandemic, is there someone that you need to reach out to? Someone perhaps where your relationship is broken or unfinished? Or perhaps there's someone that you're estranged from but you can't make it right. Is there a way that you can forgive yourself? God has given us an opportunity in this time to make things right, the time to ponder and pray and reconcile and forgive with others and with ourselves. So if you're wrestling with angels in the night, think about it. How can you find peace? Let us pray. Almighty God, this is such a challenging time, and as we enter the month of August, it appears that the months will continue. Months of time alone, time to pray, time to wrestle, to struggle, to be challenged. Help us to learn from this time, as Jacob learned. Help us to reconcile with those with whom we can reconcile and to forgive and let go of those relationships that may never work or with whom someone is just not going to come around. Bless those who are ill, Lord. Bless the sick and those who love them. Stem the tide of this virus. Give us caution and care. Help us to be careful as a nation and as a world. Bless the teachers and students who prepare to go back to school and those who will be learning online. Bless our healthcare workers. And Father, bring an end to this virus that we may come back together in full community and be able to hug one another once more. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.